Hello, my name is MG Leonard and I am very excited because I have a brand new book coming out just in time for the Easter holidays. It's called Clutch and it's all about eggs. It's the third in the Twitches series. That is my series of bird watching detectives. So in the Twitches series, the first book was called Twitch. That's the origin story of how the Twitches came to be. In the second book, Spark, which is set in the Halloween half term, they are on the case of a bird murderer. But in the third book, Clutch, that comes out this Easter, they're on the trail of an evil egg snatcher. And I thought that I would like to read you the first chapter of this book, just to give you a taste of what kind of an adventure you will find inside. So I hope you're sitting comfortably because the first chapter is called Poached. Twitch winced as a needle-sharp spike raked the back of his hand. The pale greys turned red as his blood sought to knit his skin back together. He ignored it. He had to see what was going on. Why were there two police cars at the bottom of Passerine Pike? Please don't let it be the Peregrine Falcons, he whispered to himself as a creeping dread drove him up the barbed hawthorn tree. Please. He felt a sob building in the base of his throat as he spotted torch beams bumbling about at the top of the hill. That was where the nest was. He swallowed the marble of emotion, forcing himself up the bunch-backed tree, his heart hopping anxiously. Since he and his best friend, Jack, had witnessed the death-defying aerial display of the courting falcons in late February, they had regularly trekked up Passerine Pike to watch the birds. Twitch remembered the male bird rocketing skywards, spiralling up until it was a speck, then plunging down at a speed that had stopped his breath. It had pulled out of its dive at the very last moment, rolling, climbing, looping the loop, the female falcon had swooped in, locking talons with the male. They seemed to tumble out of control, whirling, falling, spinning, rising. Jack had thought the birds were fighting, laughing, to which had explained that they were kind of kissing. The peregrine falcons had built a nest, an eyrie, on a high ledge of one of the ancient rocks protruding from the top of the hill like giant's teeth. The highest bough of the hawthorn tree, which grew out of the hedgerow that marked the border between public land and the private moor estate, was the only place from which you could see into the nest without upsetting the birds. Through their binoculars, Twitch and Jack had spotted a clutch of perfect rust-brown speckled eggs and celebrated with a silent high five. The fear that something might have happened to the falcons was making Twitch feel sick. Reaching up and leaning back, he lifted his bottom into the highest junction of hawthorn branches, wedging himself safely in the arms of the tree. Yanking out his binoculars, he ran his finger over the focusing dial. The blur became a nest, but he saw no birds. He felt as if he'd been punched in the stomach by Vernon, the biggest boy in his class. The nest was empty. He looked up, desperately searching the pewter sky for the falcons. Where could they be? Had they abandoned their nest? Had they been hurt? Looking back through his binoculars, Twitch counted three police officers searching the ground around the rocks and one in a climbing harness up near the nest. He spied the familiar, clean-shaven face of Constable Greenwood, who was frowning, holding his chin as he listened to a female officer who Twitch had never seen before. Concentrating on her lips, Twitch tried to read what the officer was saying. Jack could read lips because his older brother David was deaf, and Jack had taught all of his friends sign language, but Twitch had wanted to learn how to lip read too. It was a useful way of silently communicating when watching birds or mouthing a secret message at school. Focusing on the female officer's mouth, Twitch missed some words but then clearly made out two. Egg, thief. 
It was as if his insides had been doused with icy water. Instantly, he understood what had happened. Shoving his binoculars into his coat pocket, Twitch scrambled down the tree, barely noticing the thorns. An egg thief? In Bridvale? This was disastrous for all birds. It was spring, nesting season. He needed to get to Jack immediately. And that is the opening of Clutch. I hope if you're looking for something exciting to read this Easter, you might pick it up in a bookshop near you.